you guys welcome or welcome back to my channel if you guys are new my name is ashley so today is gonna be my baby shower vlog originally i was gonna do like a get ready with me for my baby shower and then a baby shower vlog in two separate videos but i didn't get that much footage or as much footage as i wanted for the baby shower itself because i was too busy being in the moment enjoying myself with my family i haven't seen them since july of 2021 like i haven't seen my brother since then and then some of my other family members i haven't seen in years so my baby shower was very intimate it was perfect like i only invited family members same thing for my my partner some of his family members and we had one really close friend that came and then the other person that was like a family friend why do my dogs want to bark right now the other person that was like a family friend she's more like a sister she's been around since i was like 12. she's known me for like 16 17 years she's like my sister so she doesn't count as a close friend she's more like family it was very intimate it was perfect i didn't want a bunch of people there that i don't even talk to that don't check on me you know because it was my baby shower and i wanted it to be special and it was like it was everything i could have asked for and more i didn't get as much footage as i wanted to but there is a nice surprise in the video as you guys probably already know what the surprise is based on the title of the video or based on a thumbnail or if you follow me on instagram before we get into this video, I want to give a quick shout out to today's sponsor, which is Fido. Fido? Fido? I don't know if I'm saying it right, but Fido eyeglasses. As you guys can see, my new glasses that I'm wearing. So cute. This is the company. They sent me four pairs of glasses. Two of them are prescription. I got them in the mail the day before yesterday, and I decided to try one on because I wanted to see like if the prescription was good and if they were comfortable. Why, well, whenever I put these glasses on, my partner told me that I look like the teacher from Jimmy Neutron. I'm gonna try to put a photo of her right here so you guys can see. But I'm like, these glasses are so cute. Especially once I did my makeup, I was like, ooh. I'm gonna put each style name of the glasses on the screen so you guys can see which one of them is which. So this is one of the prescription lenses it does have the blue light blocking on them so i don't know if you guys can tell when i move at a little angle you can kind of see like there's a i want to call it metallic but it's the, the blue light blocking it has something to do with like helping you sleep better at night the blue light blocking technology and each glass um eyeglass comes in this bag it's like a one of those little microfiber bags and it comes with an eyeglass cleaner so yeah this style is so cute you guys i think i don't know yet because i haven't tried on the other styles but i think this this might be my like everyday pair of glasses and it was just perfect timing that they reached out to me too because i really really needed some glasses you guys like my prescription was like probably like three years old like when they reached out to me i was just like hmm i might as well go get a new prescription so i can put the new prescription in these glasses okay this one no this one is not a prescription eyeglass but this is just one of the ones you can get if you just like wearing glasses for style because there's no prescription on this i will not be able to see but you guys will be able to see okay these are kind of cute this is actually like my original pair of glasses <laughs> that you guys see me wear a bunch like i said i'm gonna have the style on the screen if you guys like these styles and they're super affordable too considering there's four pairs of glasses and two prescriptions the total of this entire order should have been close to like 155 dollars which is super super affordable considering the quality of the glasses feel pretty good those black ones i've been wearing them for two days the actual lenses themselves is super super clear and i like that okay these ones aren't prescription either which these are cute maybe i should have got these ones prescription i could always do that in the future though i cannot see oh these are cute these are really cute i feel like the glasses look way better because i have my makeup done too because when i first tried on those other pairs and i didn't have my makeup done i was like I don't know how I feel about these. But these are cute too. Now I'm gonna try on the other prescription one. So this is the other pair that I got in prescription. So it comes in a little clear Ziploc, but it comes with like this little plastic thing over the, the lenses to protect the lenses. Okay. For some reason, I don't know why I feel like these frames were gonna be a little bit bigger, but pretty cute too. And these are prescription, so I can see clearly now the frames are on. That was lame. But yeah, this one's cute too. I'm gonna have all of the um, the frame styles on the screen. And I also have a 15% off discount code for you guys. I'm gonna link that down below for you guys as well. I don't remember the code. It might be Shelly15 or Shelly's Daughter15. I don't know. It's gonna be on the screen though. And I'm gonna have a link down below. And I'm gonna have all the styles linked down below for you guys too. But yeah, let me know down below which style of eyeglasses are your favorite. <sighs> If you guys can relate, if you guys are pregnant right now too, comment down below how you guys are feeling during your pregnancy or how you felt during your pregnancy if you already have kids. Let me know because you're gonna be struggling. <laughs> but yeah, if you guys like these frames, copy some. I have all the information linked down below for you guys. Again, the company is Phyto Eyeglasses. I'm gonna have their Instagram link down below, their website, all that good stuff so you guys can easily find the styles. And they have so many other styles online as well. But yeah, let's get into this baby shower vlog. I'm so excited. And yeah, this next clip, I'm gonna be looking kind of rough. So <laughs> excuse me. I look cute right now, but let's get to the next clip. <laughs> 
you know what it is so cold right now in texas this is ridiculous do you guys see that snow that's on the hood of my car today is thursday if you guys are from texas you guys know from or dallas area i don't know how, if it's snowing all over texas like including houston and everywhere but for sure in the dallas area we got some snow a couple days ago that's really like not even the pretty snow it's just the rocky icy hard snow you can't even enjoy it i mean i've seen some people outside playing with their kids the first day that it happened but after that it's just like a hard freeze so where it's like it's unsafe to walk around there's a cat running across the street right now slipping and sliding but the actual um the roads are finally like clearing up a little bit so you can kind of drive now but my car was iced in for two days i had to call out of work for two days i left work early one of the days because it was i was just not having it i was like uh-uh I, I need to go home i wasn't feeling too good either so i left but hi you guys welcome or welcome back to my channel if you guys are new my name is ashley i just started ranting before i said hello <laughs> but yeah today is thursday and my baby shower is on saturday in california so i don't have my nails done so i'm gonna go get my nails done i'm hoping that i like my nails when they're done i don't even know how i want to get them done that's the worst is like you want to get your nails done but you don't know how you want them done my nails just look basic right now and for my baby shower i want to get my nails done my feet done for sure and when i get back home i need to do my hair you know straighten my hair because i'm planning on doing just a bun but i need to straighten my hair for the specific style that i want so i need to straighten my hair as well i need to go to the beauty supply to get a pack of braiding hair like literally i've been snowed in for the past couple of days so i wasn't even able to just go run my errands because a lot of the stores were closed i feel like a potato packed in right now because it's so cold and being 30 weeks like i'm almost 30 weeks pregnant i'm 29 weeks and like five or six days like i said today's thursday and on monday i'm gonna be officially 30 weeks pregnant so we have the home stretch right now third trimester i'm so excited it still doesn't feel real but then it does feel real because it's just like yeah there's a little human in there but yeah you guys i'm about to go get my nails done hopefully i get a couple of clips of me getting my nails done hopefully i don't forget to film it and i will see you guys in the next clip back home i got to the beauty supply store i was able to get my nails and my feet done this is not originally how i was gonna get my nails done but they came out cute you guys can't really see but i've gotten my nails done like this before multiple times but this is a little bit different than the original way that i get them done because they did a like a peachy pink acrylic for the base but yeah this is not how i wanted to get my nails done but there was only one nail shop that i could find that was open today most nail shops are saying they'll open up tomorrow but i was able to get to the beauty supply store and the only thing i needed from there was a pack of braiding hair and i got me an extra wrap to home so I can straighten my hair. Oh, and I got a, a brown lip liner because I cannot find none of my lip liners. So I have like four or five different brown lip liners and I look through all my purses, look through the car and I just can't find them. But I also stopped and got myself some ramen. Since it's cold, I kind of just wanted some ramen. I have not tried ramen from this place. And for some reason I have two containers. I'm wondering if I'm supposed to like put it together, but it smells so good, you guys. Ooh. Oh, okay, yeah. So the ramen is in one. What is this? What is this? What is this? I'm talking about what is it and I just ate it. Man, yeah, the noodles and everything is in one and the broth is in another. This this broth smells so good. I need a spoon because they just gave me chopsticks. My dog is irritating me. Let me move my plan out the way. <laughs> Look at my pregnancy chin, you guys. Like, I'm literally getting a chin from pregnancy, but it's fine. But the broth is in one. Ooh, that broth tastes so good. And when the ramen is in here, it has corn sprouts green onions and egg in there oh there is chicken at the bottom i feel like i should be putting this inside of a soup bowl to eat it out of i'm gonna just eat it out of this thing that it came in okay i'm excited i'm glad i went here once the broth is good it's like you really can't mess it up i definitely probably should be putting this in something else dang it i don't want to okay i made the decision to pour it back in to here because it just seems like a lot of food i don't i don't know if i'm gonna eat all this all at once put the egg in there it just seems like they gave me a lot of noodles, which I'm not mad about it. I'm really happy with my decision. I've been wanting to get some ramen for a while, but my man does not like ramen. He just thinks that ramen is struggle food. And to me, ramen can be a special delicacy. Okay, I'm gonna leave some of that those noodles in there. Maybe I'll save it for later. Or if I'm still hungry after this, I'm gonna come back for more. Ooh, and then get some chicken. Just put some of the chicken so I could save some. This is all I'm gonna eat for now. This is my first time getting ramen from this place. I've gotten their sushi before and their sushi is really good. I only get cooked sushi. I'm not one of those raw sushi eaters. Mmm, that's really good. I'm definitely gonna go here again for some ramen. Watch this turn into one of my pregnancy cravings. <laughs> what kind of laugh was that? I'm just happy. 
Mm. I feel like I am gonna eat all of this because this is so good. Okay, I'm gonna go enjoy my ramen because I'm just smacking and it just, I don't know why. I'm standing here eating and I wanna go sit down and get cozy, snuggle up in a blanket and eat this. Bye you guys. <laughs> And it's late. It's not late, but it's like, it's almost nine o'clock and I should have been starting my hair. But the way life is set up, it is what it is. My flight leaves at 8.48 in the morning, I think. Something like that. I washed my hair already. I'm about to put this 10 in one Main Magic spray in my hair. It's like a little sample I got. I don't remember where I got this. Oh, I got this from the, for the advent calendar that was at Target. It's a heat protectant. It softens your hair, cuts drying time, adds shine, nourishes. UV protection smooths. It does a bunch of stuff. So I'm gonna spray this in my hair. This is my pregnancy cocktail, mocktail. It's beet juice and pomegranate juice. Both of these juices are really good for pregnancy. The pomegranate juice is good for placenta care. And then the, um, the beet juice helps with regulating your blood pressure, something like that. I just know it's good for you. At the beginning of my pregnancy, when I was like 16 weeks, I had a little scare because my OB told me that my placenta was lying low and I was only 16 weeks. So for her to tell me that that suit on a bit dramatic, but you know, whatever. Placenta is where it needs to be healthy and all that good stuff. So Marley has an obsession with anything that I use. This is Marley. But yeah, cause my towel, I just used it to dry my hair and now he wants to play with it. And he's upset that I moved it. Look at him. Hey, okay. hey honey. I had a feeling you were gonna get Chick-fil-A. I was gonna get them. Oh, from Buffalo Wild Wings? Well, I'm gonna eat before I do my hair now. I'm gonna probably do a time lapse of me blow drying my hair because it's gonna take me a minute. But yeah, I'm gonna just show you guys a little short clip of me straightening my hair when I get to that point too. But yeah, I'm gonna eat dinner and then do my hair. So I'm gonna be back. these grades I got? Yeah, old man. That's why I can't be stressing like that. I'll be chilling next day I hear, Ray, Ray, can you come over here and get, can you, can you wash the dishes? Can you put this bag outside? Ray, Ray, can you feed the dogs? <laughs> I didn't film this morning because it was stressful. I had a very stressful morning. My flight, my first flight, we missed it because there was like a lot of ice on the road. And then we made this flight. That's not but ice, the goddamn shuttle they wanted to It wasn't come. just a shuttle. It, it really was the was shuttle, shuttle, it was the ice, it was everything. We had to shuttle, get a taxi last minute. Up. Albert's calling. Oh, yeah. Okay, I gotta go. Because I had said it right away too. I was like, watch, I'm gonna leave this on my head because I know as soon as my dad answered the phone, he's gonna say something about it. So what you got the, 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 the whip on your head. I don't know how you said it. A special Christmas hat. <laughs> That's not how it sounds, but it was funny. You said have her cap. Cap. Yes. <laughs> special, special Christmas cap. <laughs> <laughs> what, what That's funny as hell. No, he said it's that. the same exact one that I'm wearing on my head right he now. You don't know what a bonnet is. He, he thought it was a special Christmas cap. Why are you recording me? I said oh, recording you. Oh, you want me to get the food? Oh, okay. This is her work. You don't have to say that's my word. Right. That that's not what I asked you to record. <laughs> I said record this and record this and that. And you over here recording this. But that's uncooked. This is not this is not appealing right now. <laughs> this is, this is the before all of this gotta bake. Mm. Mm, Why are you saying all of them sounds is not good? Look <laughs> at that belly. Cheese. <laughs> ha, it's a video. Gotcha. Video. Gotcha. Gotcha. gotcha! I'm very, very hot right now. <laughs> it is about 12.15 and the baby shower starts at one, but I'm assuming people are gonna be late. That's why I said one. And I need to wipe the camera off too. But I already started doing my hair. If y'all can see, look at the top. I already started doing my hair and it's gonna be a hot top knot bun. I'm, I decided instead of doing two pieces, I'm just gonna do one to the side. A ponytail would have been cute though if I just did my hair in a ponytail and then curl it back. The angel is alien guard. Oh, is this what you're wearing? It smells so good on you too. It smells really good on you. Why am I like struggling for no reason? Like it's never this hard for me to do my hair in a bun. It's because I feel pressured today. Okay, I'm gonna do that and then hairspray on it. Pull some pieces out. Ugh, uh, um, I need to be careful with this hair because I never really put this much of it in my hair and I don't know if it's going to get white. I did not bring that much hair supplies with me. Okay, I'm going to take it one more time. 
How does it feel right now? It's cold? cooler. Yeah. Because to me, it feels humid, right? Yeah, it's kind of, it's like pretty warm out here. That's the same thing I was thinking. I That's was, what I was saying close the door earlier. I think that's as high as the bun could go. This could be good. And then I should be time lapsing this part because it's not really a hair tutorial. Braiding here. Now that I'm looking at this, this look kind of thin. <laughs> Maybe I should have did the longer one. There she goes moving again. Party time, mom. A little mom voice though. I think you know what it is because whenever we we talk to Marley, we use that oh, voice for Marley. Okay, okay. And now we just have a habit of using that voice for her too. <laughs> So funny. <laughs> Ma'am. Now I need to keep one piece out to wrap around the bun when I'm done wrapping the bun. That piece out. Mm -hmm. Oh my God. Do this better. Yeah, okay. Dang it. I'm hot. Don't get me mad. <laughs> Try this one more time. That was a good attempt though. You look so pretty. I love your dress. Do you feel pretty? Yeah, you look pretty. Like a gun in your mouth. <laughs> it's to hold her hold the hair so it doesn't move out of place. Right here? I really can't breathe. I need help. Ray, can you hurry up so you can come help me? Please, I need your help. I'm, I'm, I can't breathe trying to hold my hair in my mouth. <laughs> it's like nine minutes from one o'clock. That's, okay. that's, that's funny. I'm hoping LA traffic just holds people back, right? <laughs> Nobody gonna show up on time, right? The bun is still making me mad. Cause they are flyaways, but it looked better than it did, right? I'm tired of you and you're trying to be jokes right now. When I'm mad, you ain't funny. This is the most hairspray I done ever put in my hair in my life. And I just realized I didn't even sweep my baby hairs yet while I'm slicking all this other hair down. Oh, that hurt. That hurt. I need my edges. Got my edges back. <laughs> I'm gonna just do my makeup right here. Ray, can you go get my makeup? Everything that you see on that in the room, like all of it. Well, this is fast because I've never baked these cookies before. Peaceful environment. <laughs> Girl. Girl, you know what? Oh my god. You didn't god, even think about that, huh? No. Uh, thank oh you. You gonna go help him get some more? That's all of it? Came out cute. These are the cookies that my cousin made. They're strawberry cheesecake cookies. All right, then. In this exact moment, he knew exactly what he was about to do, and I thought he was really about to give a toast. Do not like him. He's about to be a father. Things changing. Girl, you got pink all over you. Pink up. Thank you all for for coming out. You know, um, appreciate everything. You know, um, I never really had a toast, of course. I don't know what to say. He just wanted to just share his appreciation. He's just coming. glad that all you guys actually showed up. My you family know. came. I haven't seen my family in like a long time. So, you know, it's, it's a great deal to encourage our families and everything, you know. So, you know, I know y'all had like a lot of traffic Hi. and everything. So, appreciate y'all for coming out. I guess the last thing to do is, you know, uh, pop, pop it out. Oh, you know. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. No, that one on us, bro. Yeah. 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 Oh. Perfect fit. Perfect fit. Oh my God. <laughs> 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 <laughs>
A few moments later. <laughs> what are you even doing? Oh my god. This is silly. This is just as you guys can see in the video i'm a fiance now i mean you guys probably already noticed that. oh my god why nobody told me this whole time i was talking to y'all earlier and my forehead contour looked too dark rude but yeah as you guys can see in the video i'm a fiance now i don't know if you guys could tell based on the actual video what happened but right before the clip of him proposing to me i was in the bathroom having a little dress malfunction he came and knocked on the door looking for me right before he knocked on the door i was able to fix it but i still needed him to help me fix my like bra and bandeau in the back i was just like how's it help me so i had him come in the bathroom and he helped me while he was in the bathroom helping me like adjust my bra he told me that he wanted to give a toast to everybody, but he's never done a toast before. And, he, and the thing is, this man, he is not a very like outgoing, super social person. I mean, from when I met him, you know, he has become more expressive now since we've been together. But yeah, so he told me he wanted to give a toast to everyone for just showing up. I think he really planned this for the moment, like as far as how he was gonna do it, because he didn't really know what he was gonna say. So that's why you guys will see that clip of him kind of like, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> but where he was like, just saying, you know, thank you guys for showing up. Thank you guys for, you know, driving out because most people that came to our baby shower had to drive at least an hour to get there. So we really did want to just say thank you to everybody. As far as the toast and the way he did everything, it was so funny because in my mind, I was just trying to help him talk through this little speech he was doing. And then he starts talking. He's just like, the, I guess the last thing for me to do is to just pop it out. And I'm just like, what is happening? Like, that's why I don't know if you guys could tell. I'm still trying to remember, like, did he even ask me to marry him? Because I don't remember, like, in the moment saying yes. I think, like, he just got down on his knee. I put my hand out. And then his uncle was like, you say yes? She say yes? And I'm like, yes, I'm just in shock. Like, because it was like an automatic thing. Like, him getting down on his knee and me putting my hand out. It's like an automatic, like, me and him know, like, telepathically, yes, yes, we're doing this. <laughs> but it was just so funny. I love that we got it on recording because the only reason we have it on recording was because I told my my cousin to film it because he said he wanted to give a toast and I'm like oh let's get some more vlog footage because I wasn't really recording the whole time because I was too busy enjoying everybody's presence like I was just so filled with love and excitement that I didn't really remember to film much but this man did not tell anybody he was gonna propose he didn't tell any of my family members he didn't tell any of his family members he literally only told one of his co-workers that's here in Texas so nobody at the baby shower knew he was gonna propose I feel like that was a nice surprise for the family you know especially after them traveling to come see us and the baby shower was just complete vibe like we had our Belizean music playing. Those of you guys who don't know, my family's from Belize, his family's from Belize. So that's where the meal inspiration came from. We did rice and beans, stewed chicken, potato salad. I forgot to do the fried plantain, but that's just because there was a lot going on. I cooked all the food from a baby shower. I don't know anybody who has said that they cooked for their baby shower. Like personally, I don't know. Now there's probably people out there that have done it, but I don't know anybody that's cooked for their baby shower. My big brother did help me. As you guys can see, like the little clip of us in the kitchen, he helped me cook the food. But for the most part, I did all the seasonings and preparing and stuff by myself. He just helped me kind of cook some of the food to help speed up the process. I was super happy that everybody loved my cooking. That food was gone, you guys. And I didn't even film all the food because like I said, I was enjoying myself. It was really, really nice to cook for my family for the first time and cook for his family and everybody just loved the food. And that made me feel good because most of our family that was there is actually from Belize. Me, I was born in America. So the way that I cook, it's based on how I learned. Oh yeah, but I will be filming two separate videos showing some of the stuff that I got since I opened up my registry and um, some of the stuff I got from the baby shower. So the baby shower stuff, I told everybody to send everything in the mail in advance because I didn't wanna have to be opening up a bunch of gifts or have to ship anything back or have to take anything back with me on my flight. I ended up having one suitcase of stuff to bring back with me and I'm gonna show you guys what I got in that suitcase and I'm gonna do a separate video showing you guys a lot of the stuff that I got for my baby registry just to give you guys inspiration or just so you guys can see what I got so you guys can also let me know if there's anything else that you guys think I might need I'll also link my baby registry down below in case you guys want to bless us with anything else for our baby because yeah we're first-time parents 
we don't really know what we need completely but if there's anything else you guys can recommend from being parents already please let me know in the comment section down below but yeah if you guys are interested in seeing those videos once they're out i'll have them linked somewhere in this video or i'll have them linked down in the description box or they'll just be under my motherhood playlist but yeah <sighs> it's crazy to sit in this baby room and see all the stuff that's in here i really have a baby on the way that's crazy and i wanted to be a mommy for so long but everything happens in perfect timing in god's timing and yeah <laughs> I am so excited, you guys. I'm so excited. I'm about to go ahead and film the stuff that I got from the baby shower right now. My face, my makeup gonna look exactly like how I look right now. But yeah. <laughs> if you guys did enjoy this video, make sure you give me a thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel if you're new so you guys can see all the new mommy content that I'll eventually be posting. Yeah, comment down below your favorite part of this little vlog. My favorite part, obviously, was the proposal because what? <laughs> I'm a fiance now, y'all. I think that is so beautiful. Like, just the way everything played out. Like, I could not have asked for a better turnout, honestly. It was beautiful. But thank you guys so much for watching. I appreciate you guys. I love you guys. And I will see you in the next video.